Unreal 5 vs Unity 2020, Round 1. This will be a two-round fight. Round 1 will be divided into categories, giving points by judging each software fairly by the merits and facts that have been released on the future versions of their respective engines. We also use the current state of the engines as a baseline when it comes to facts that haven't been expressly stated or released to the public. The categories for round one are graphics, physics, programming, features and tools, learning curve and ease of use, and cost and royalties. Features and tools. Epic has stated that much like Unreal 4, Unreal 5 will be a complete suite of developer tools for not only game developers, but anyone working with real-time technology. From next-gen games to high-quality cinematics, it's said to have everything a developer would ever need to start, ship, and even launch your title. And judging by the overabundance of tools that can be found in Unreal 4, we have no reason to doubt that this will be the case. Aside from the tools already in the engine, Epic's Unreal 5 is said to include many new features to help developers create more immersive worlds, both on a visual and technical level. The two main additions to Unreal Engine 5 that have been announced are Nanites and Lumen, which help in adding more detail to environments and lighting them realistically. Adding to their already impressive feature set, such as Chaos Physics and Destruction, Niagara VFX, Convolution Reverb, and Ambisonics Rendering, Nanite are virtualized micropolygon geometry that free artists to create as much geometric detail as the eye can see, while Lumen is a fully dynamic global illumination solution that immediately reacts to scene and light changes. And although their demo showed features that cannot be found on current gen consoles, their new engine will be forward compatible with UE4, so developers can already start working on next-gen projects before the engine is even released. Alongside the Unreal Engine 5 tech demo, Epic Games also announced the launch of Epic Online Services, a free suite of tools and services which allow developers to build cross-platform engine-agnostic multiplayer capabilities into their games. For Unity 2020, their focus is more so on polishing and expanding many of the tools released over the past year or so, rather than adding more features. Aside from introducing the new Data-Oriented Technology Stack, or DOTS framework, that will be integrated into the engine, many of the plans for Unity 2020 revolve around polishing and expanding pre-existing features. And while this news may come as a disappointment to some, Unity has been constantly updating and adding new features to their engine for much of 2019, as well as the first quarter of 2020. Not only that, but with Unity's new high-performance multi-threaded DOTS framework, Unity 2020 will be able to take full advantage of multi-core processors, making games not only perform better, but run faster as well. DOTS will also enable you to create richer user experiences as well as iterate faster with C-sharp code, making it easier to read and reuse across other projects. Some of their other notable new or improved features include Improved 2D Tool Feature Set, Full implementation of their visual scripting system and tools, Improved High Definition Render Pipeline, Implementation of the PhysX and Havoc physics engine. Freeform animation, which allows you to modify motion capture and skeletal animation using runtime constraints while preserving the core animation. Art Engine, a content creator tool that uses creative AI to create ultra-realistic PBR materials based on real-world data. Cinemachine an artist-friendly toolset which creates a versatile, powerful dynamic camera system for cinematics and gameplay, and many, many more. In conclusion, while Unity 2020 doesn't seem to really be making the huge leaps like Epic is with Unreal 5 when it comes to revolutionizing the software or industry, 
Unity has been constantly adding new tools for the past year. And when looking at their new tool set, along with the new DOT architecture, it's hard to argue that Unity isn't bringing a slew of new features and tools to the table. But while we commend Unity's renewed commitment to excellence and stability when it comes to their engine and new tools, when in comparison to features and tools in Unreal, this was always going to be an uphill battle. Unreal 4 was feature-rich even upon its original release and still contains several notable features Unity has yet to adopt. And with the announcement of Nanites and Lumen, as well as Epic Online Services for Unreal 5, their feature and tool list almost becomes overwhelming. Point Unreal. What's your favorite feature or tool in Unity or Unreal? Let everyone know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification so you can be the first to see our latest video.